What's going on lovely people and bathtub smillions and external watching this video? This is another fantastic bathtub smiles production coming at you with a different kind of video. This is another tutorial video. Uh, this is something that I don't normally use, but I made a tutorial on it because if you didn't know, Minecraft 1.17 just got released. Woo! Well, the official first, um, the uh, first uh, release of 1.17, the first uh, update 1.17, cool. Yeah, let's jump into today, today's video. Today's video, we are going to be learning how to install X-Ray Mod on 1.17. Yes, you heard me correctly. No, this is not a texture pack. No, this is not a scam. This is the X-Ray Mod where if you press X, it shows you all the ores and all that crap. So let's jump in. So first things first, navigate to the description below and you are going to click on the first link it's going to be a media fire link as you can see right here now there's a bunch of crap that pops up on this page and i'm going to teach you how to prevent getting a virus if you see a little x right here that means that it's not the actual download link and yeah that's probably going to be a virus so the one that you're going to want is this big blue download button that tells you how big the file is and the title of the file as you can see x-ray 72 117 download ignore that pop-up it's going to give you a warning that this file can harm your computer but it's not i promise you just go ahead and hit keep once you do that you can go ahead and either drag it to your desktop or you can find it in your downloads here but that doesn't really matter so before anything you'd quickly just want to go into your minecraft and if you haven't already you just want to click latest release and play you just need to initiate that first process and actually download the latest release before you can do before you can install this mod so after you've done that go ahead and double click on x-ray now if it doesn't open for you right away right click on it click open with choose another app and you can search for java jre blah 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 whatever it is as long as it's java you can press ok and it'll pop it right open for you and if you have minecraft installed you have java so now all you need to do is as you can see 1.17 is selected all you have to do is hit install and then you can name your new um it's going to create a new minecraft profile for you so just go ahead and give it a name and then after you do that nine like 99 times out of 99.1 times uh, you're going to get a successful notification so just go ahead and click ok and now this is the part of the video where i show you how to actually use this so <clears throat> open up minecraft it should automatically pop up with your latest uh, installation here but if it does not click the button and you should find this otherwise if it's not showing up with anything then most likely you need to navigate over to installations and hit modded i'm going to take out snapshots i don't need that so just make sure modded is checked then once you go back to play you should be able to find your profile select it and then click play uh, this is just a warning letting you know that this profile is modded it doesn't really matter. Uh, just go ahead and hit that check mark so that it doesn't pop up every time you try and play this game. Anyways, go ahead and navigate to options, controls, and now you should see some new stuff. Fulbright, I typically will use the little asterisk here right to the left of the one. And I'll, I'll give you a little overview of what this stuff is. Cave Finder just shows you all the caves. Uh, X is obviously for X-Ray. And then X-Ray GUI, which we're going to briefly go over, is going to be pretty useful as well so just going to go ahead and test out cave finder so as you can see there's all the caves it's as if you're in spectator mode going underground it's nothing too special uh, it'll just show you the caves ravines etc etc now the big boy this is what you all have come here for first let me just uh pull a little risky boy there and get down into this cave so let's go ahead and find somewhere that shouldn't be very light so remember the little asterisk that we set for fulbright this is what fulbright does boom check that out it's as if uh yeah you don't need torches when you're mining the moment you've all been waiting for go ahead and press x and there we go we've got uh x-ray hey look at that and zoom zoom is act it's going to be like optifine zoom all you got to do is press v and it'll zoom in for you so you can see super far away and all that cool jazz the last thing that we're going to briefly go over is the x-ray gui so this once you press j you should have this little menu come up and now this is what you can choose 
this is what you're going to be able to see. Everything that's got a check mark is what you can see if you have X-ray enabled. So let's say that we un. Oh, let's say that we check. Um, let's see. Let's. If we want to see, oh, that's dark oak. We just want oak leaves and oak logs. So now once you have those checked, you can go back to your game and you press X and now you can see all of those trees. So it's really, uh, it's a super neat feature uh, that I can't actually remember how long ago this GUI came out, but nonetheless, you can select exactly what blocks you wanna find with X-Ray, which can be super helpful. So it's pretty good to experiment around with that and see what They'll see what you need, what you want, you know, all that stuff. So with all that being said, with that brief little overview there and uh, that little tutorial, this is going to conclude it. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did so, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the like button. It helps me out a bunch. Uh, both of those things help me out immensely. Even leave a comment, you know, if it didn't work for you or something went wrong, just shoot me a quick comment. I'll reply to all comments under this video. I love doing that. I love interacting with you guys. So just let me know. That concludes the video. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. This has been Bathtub Smiles, and I am out.